Hey guys, welcome to the new video of uh, Microsoft Online Learning. In this video, we will be covering uh, AWS SQS. So, uh, the main focus of this video will be to explore uh, the connector and the different capabilities offered by SQS. So, let's get started. So this is the Anycon Studio and as you can see, uh, I have already created some of the flows which are very basic in nature. So I will try to walk through uh, with all of these flows and we will uh, then test it using Postman. So first of all, um, when you right click and create a new project, you have to add this uh, connector that is this Amazon SQS connector. So there is a way to do it. You have to just search in Exchange. Just click it over here and search with SQS. It will take uh, one second or two and after that you have to select it. select this and click on finish but since i have already done it so i will uh, not repeat the same thing okay um, once it is being done you will be able to see this uh, sqs connector and all the different uh, functions or you can see the operations which are available i will not be going through all of these but these are pretty much same in configuration so uh, i will touch the main uh, like creation of queues, sending the messages, then uh, how to receive the same message and listing the queues and finally deleting the queues, the basic ones. So let's start with the first one that is the create queue. Create queue, uh, first of all you have to just drag and drop a HTTP listener and you, you need to set a path to it and uh, it is basically get method. After that you have to just look for this create queue, drag and drop over here and this field will be blank profile and you have to click on uh, this add button and it will open up something like this test qr and ss key secret keys these are the same which you will uh, obtain from aws iam uh, section uh, the reason will be either asia pacific south one or us east something something like that and default q url and test q url so i will i will uh, explain this to you what are these two values so first of all let's go to the aws console so this is the aws console and you have to go to services just type for sqs sqs hit enter and it will show you some of the uh, queues if it is being already created and if not you have to just go to the main and click on create queue and then you can mention the queue name over here uh, for the time being, uh, I have set some uh, some basic queues already, so you can just click on create queue and we are uh, fine with that. Apart from that, if you want to uh, set something specific, there are different access policies, encryption, uh, DLQ and tags are available. But uh, for the time being, uh, I will limit our discussion to the, to the uh, focus which we already decided. So, I will I will tell you this default queue URL and this test queue URL. Okay, so test queue I have used this one. So this particular URL is the test queue URL. Uh, the the test queue URL is this one. Okay, and and this one uh, this one I have chosen as the default overall. Uh, this queue URL. So it could be different, it could be same depending upon your uh, uh, level of uh, configuration. Now coming back to the main flow, this test queue is the one which I am uh, going to create or instead since q1 is already there let's put it test q2 okay and after that it will create and publish something on the log within the payload like something like ARN or some some uh, confirmation like it is being created after that there are a couple of things I will first go through the flows and then we will check the different capabilities then we are going to send a message uh, this will be a send message option and it's, it's a post method within the post we will be sending up a particular uh, the message so within the body, I have put down some content and it will be printed uh, as the main message. Along with that, uh, this is a Java object which we are creating, a Java class. So, 
this is how it will expect so this is this body could be your message you can put any uh, any uh, structure over there because it, it expects a java object to be sent as a send message uh, body along with that i am sending the attributes like account id number id and other things you can you can add the message attributes as well but i'm not going to use it so we can remove this as well but uh, let's go with the default settings and this send message you can uh, look for this send message from here drag and drop to here default sql configuration will remain same var message this will be set at this particular level and q url we need to pass from our payload okay and finally we are putting a logger just to make sure uh, what is the message being sent then there is a receive message uh, this is listening on test q1 so whatever is being sent on test q1 it will be recepted by this particular uh, receiver it will simply log the message as payload and that's it list queue list queue will check for all the queues with the name test and uh, this will be fairly a get operation i think yes get operation and uh, this will print the payload the final one is to delete i have just tried to use three more functions or three more operations over here just to explain you so starting from http listener delete queue it's a get operation and i am just putting down the queue name as test q1 you have to specify your aws account id which should be a number the set variable is setting the uh, payload which is being uh, like q url basically coming out of this uh, this particular action after that get uh, approximate number of messages that is from here q url is being set at this particular variable level let me set something q url okay so your url is being set after that i have used a choice so choice you can pick from this code go to the flow control and just drag and drop choice okay within the choice the first uh, condition i have done if the number of messages which are being obtained out of this particular uh, where number of messages if it is being greater than zero that is some message already persisted within the queue so we will first purge it and then we are going to delete it so let's see purge operation so q url the same and the same sks connection and during the delete same q, q url we are going to send and uh, it will overall delete the message so if it is having a message first purge the message purge all the queue and then delete and if it is already empty simply delete the queue and finally we are going to log the message as sqs queue deleted so having said that let's quickly jump to our uh, postman so create queue as i mentioned i will be creating test q2 i will stop this guy and we will run it again it will take couple of seconds just to load it and once done then we will jump to our postman so this is this is our postman uh, create sqs queue so this is the queue and the queue will be the test queue 2 this time okay so this is being deployed let me clear the console i will hit it and you can see test q2 is being created let's go over here onto the sqs and you can see the test q2 is being now created having said that now we will go to the send message queue so we will be sending a message uh, on our test q1 so let's hit the send button test q1 okay so test q1 is this one let's refresh this guy again let's quickly check the message okay i can see here like uh, the message is being sent and the receiver has accepted it as well so that's why uh, they are you are not able to see any any active message on this test queue 
having said that if you i have uh, stopped this one and then try to run it again you will see uh, considerable uh, messages count getting increased okay so let me stop this guy and i will stop this flow by changing it the initial state has stopped and we'll right click run the project again all the other uh, flows are in the started state so there is no problem in that it will take some time to load it let me go over here test q1 here you can see there is no message available for now you can play up the console so it is been deployed we are good to go let's push a message send message so our message is being now pushed let's go back to aws console i will refresh this page so here you can see the message is available now so this was just to showcase like that message was picked up by the receiver now i will go back quickly to the uh, list sqs so in our aws console you can see four queues okay so i will hit the button and one two three where is the fourth one one two three where is my sqs so i think there is some problem in this queue uh, because of some reason it is not getting populated okay there is no problem in that but uh, have you noticed within the list queues i have put down queue name prefix as test so whenever the name of the queue is picked up using test it is only uh, giving me that particular thing so we are absolutely fine on that now delete sqs so in the uh, delete uh, queue I am just passing the test Q1. Okay, so test Q1 as of now it is one, so it will follow this very path. The uh, the number of messages getting and zero and so so and so forth. So let's hit the delete queue. So this is uh, the response uh, status. Okay, let's quickly go back to console. Refresh this guy. Test Q1 is deleted. Go to the studio console so um, to, 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 to. purging needs to be done this one this logger purging needs to be done after that purging is complete this is being printed by this one okay and after that deletion gets uh, executed sqsq deleted so sqsq deleted so with this particular short video on uh, SQS, I have tried to cover the basic function functions available within the SQS connector. I hope you like this video and stay tuned for the next set of amazing videos. Thank you.